Hi everybody. Welcome Hello. to Pooch Reviews. I have my son today, Brayden. Hello. He's going to help us open up this box. Today we have Universal Yums. That's what it looks like. Universal Yums is a snack subscription box. And they have three different sizes of subscriptions. You have the Yum Box, which starts at $14 a month. Then you have the Yum Yum Box, which starts at $23 a month. And you have the Super Yum Box, which starts at $36 a month. And you can pay uh, in three month subscription. You can pay six month subscription or you can pay for a year subscription at a time. Um, ready to get into it? Yeah. All right. Let me see it. I gotta cut the box. Yes. You don't want to do it? No, I don't trust myself. Yeah. I don't really trust you with a knife. Oh, either. come on. I mean, you're better with the knife, probably. Okay, you ready? Where are we going? Where are we oh. going? You know? Off we go on a magical holiday adventure. <gasps> this is Season's Greetings from Everywhere. So this is from multiple places. France, Thailand, Spain, the UK, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Mm -hmm. That looks fun. So in this box, on top here is, looks like on this one, it's just a little bit of everything from the different countries that we get to snack from. And on the back side, you have the scoreboard so you can rate your snacks and say which ones you like and don't like. And this side, it looks like we have, oh, a look back at the year 2020. So the one good thing of the year is where your snacks came from, apparently. Because we're done for 2020 to be over. And what is this? We got a sticker. We got a sticker! Love stickers. Yeah. Alright. So, we got, the, we got some chips, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we got some chips. Where's our info? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe at the bottom. We got potato chips. I mean, oh, it's over here. You took the info. <laughs> this told, tells us what all of our snacks are. Okay. Yeah. So, potato chips. Oh, and this is more than just the info card. This is, they have games in here. Yeah. Um, guide to New York, New yeah. Year's Eve. That's cool. fun. Um, okay, potato chips. Okay, okay. these are Come here. Here's roasted garlic potato chips. Yum. A new twist on the classics. No. A, an addictively crunchy taste take on a Czech holiday tradition. Oh, so this is from the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia? Yeah. Awesome. Uh... I put all the food in the fridge. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I, I We're trying it, man. Oh. I want to try it. You don't want to try it? No. It smells like... It smells like sour cream and onion or garlic, sour cream and garlic uh, potato chips. Just like regular Lay's. Look like Lay's. It smells like... Mmm. Those are good. You sure you don't want one? No, I'm good. Alright, here, put it on the table. Yeah. I'm probably gonna eat it. Here, here's a nice one. So, we got an, a, another one. What is that? It is the Mackay's of Scotland turkey and stuffing fl flavored potato chips. So, it's another one. Oh my goodness. It's another Roast? potato chip. Roast turkey and stuffing potato crisps. 
A UK holiday feast in every chip. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Open those up. I can always smell it. Oh. What does that smell like? I don't know. It smells oh. something like burnt. Burnt. That smells a little bit worse. Interesting. Yeah. So these are a thicker <coughs> potato chip. And they're more flat, it looks like. Yes. No. We let the dogs in for this one. Yeah. Yeah, I call it right there. That's not dog. bad. The mischievous one. It tastes kind of like God. if you take a bite of mashed potatoes and gravy with the that. stuffing I'll get some later. and a little bit of turkey. <coughs> it is not something I would reach for. But it's not bad. Oh, I saw this on. Oh, oh my goodness. So, this weird. is popcorn salted egg yolk. Artificial flavor. Pop smile on. Some of it's in Japanese or Taiwan. Taiwan. This is from Taiwan. This is the salted egg yolk popcorn, Taiwan's most excellent holiday tradition. I bet this is like egg chips. I bet it's like that. Maybe. Let's open it. Or it could be like that. Oh, little, like little cheese balls? Yeah. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Mm. Do you need to know? <laughs> no. Are you sure? I'm sure. I got it. Oh, you got it. Oh no, it's just like popcorn. Oh, it's, it's like so actual it, popcorn? Yeah. Oh, yes. So this is what it looks like. It Gross. smells like popcorn. You'll get some treats later. And by that I mean food. Your food. <coughs> That's different. Try that. Try this one. Try that one. It's Whoa. not bad. It's kind of like a kettle corn, but not really. Definitely not what I'm going to reach for. You don't like it? Nope. No. No? Alright. Um, this is our opinions. We okay. have different taste buds. Well, definitely. So this is for the... They are egg dumplings. That's what those are for. Egg dumplings <coughs> called Zongizi. I'm sorry, I, I probably pronounced that wrong. Are a staple of the Summertime Dragon Boat Festival. For the oh, Fall yeah. Moon Festival, yolk-filled mooncake pastries are a must. I'll be right back. I gotta grab something to drink, like some water. Okay. So we got some more Pop Smile Premium Premium Popcorn, cheese and car some cheese and caramel, and the rest is in oh. I believe Japanese or Taiwanese. Chinese. Chinese. This is from China. Caramel and cheddar popcorn. Part sweet, part savory. One hundred percent addictive. In Chinese philosophy, philosophy, spiritual well-being is determined by the balance of two opposing but complementary forces, yin and yang. They apply to everything. Oh, no. No. Just down. 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 Oh, my gosh. Okay, you guys oh, are not old. allowed in here it's for old. the treats anymore. Okay. Don't do that. Pick her up. If you're going to take her out, pick her up. I can't. Then sit down and just be calm. They're all anxious because you're all spastic. And they want to be in camera. Okay. They just want to be food. Caramel and cheese popcorn. Oh. You going to try that one? So here's this one. No. That's a cheese. Mmm. Give me a little... Handful. No! Okay. I told you. So that's what this looks like. Just. There you go. Just caramel popcorn and cheddar popcorn in a mix. That's really good. Tastes like caramel corn with cheddar popcorn. 
for the neck. Another Czech Republic fried onion potato chips. That's a big bag. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's not like anything at the top. It's just like here and below. Yeah, that's, that's still pretty full. Yeah. And so we have, have some uh, Hobsovi uh, Ramburki Smazana Sibolka. Kind of hard to pronounce. Did you get that? Because uh, oh. you did better than I probably would have. Hobsovi Ramburki Smazina Shiboka, maybe. Shiboka? Shiboka. Shiboka. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, girl. Mm -hmm. So, there are some chips. Want to try? Oh, thank you. Okay. That tastes like fried onions. It's not, it doesn't taste like onions. Hopefully we don't fry it. Here, we'll leave that one for last. That's a goodie bag. Oh, goodie bag. Okay. Can I get fry. some chocolate? Let's get this. Whatever this says. I get This was since 1935. Mixed baklava. Yes. Um, this is assorted baklava, Jordan's sweetest, flakiest way to break Ramadan fast. Ramadan was in the spring this year, but it's still a winter holiday sometimes. The month-long Muslim fasting holiday follows the lunar cycle, which moves backward every year. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. You just gotta open it. Well, yeah, I have to get to the, into the plastic first. There we go. There! We did it! Yay! That's packed in there, good. Alright, I'm gonna just leave that open for the rest of the time. Because we may need it again. <gasps> Smell it, yeah. hmm. it doesn't really smell like anything. Let's see you now. So that's what it looks like. Okay, it still smells exactly the same. What's in here first? So in here we have wheat flour, sugar, palm oil, cashews, and pistachios. So if you have an allergy, you Oh, I don't like want that. this. You don't have to have well, the nut yeah. part. It's fine. You want to try some of the, the um, flaky part? So, so you just like, like the, this is the this is the outskirts, I guess you could say. Hmm. No. Ow! Mm. Doesn't taste like anything. That was good. I didn't get a bite of. I didn't get any nuts, but that's alright. Yeah. I don't want to eat too much. What's next? Looks like this is bread. Doesn't say anything about it. It definitely feels <clears throat> kind of like bread. That is from Italy. Chocolate so cream Pandoro. That's probably like a orange for bread. Italy's beloved holi holiday sweet bread plus yep. gooey chocolate. Oh my goodness. <coughs> May not. I don't think we'll open that if it's got a gooey chocolate. I might need a plate. I am not prepared for that. <laughs> yeah. But. I got that an idea. I'll like go get delicious. a plate. I'll go get a plate. No, it's fine. 
The soft and cakey bread is now enjoyed countrywide on Christmas and New Year's. We recommend you savor this gooey chocolate filled version. Because when it's gone, you'll be lamenting, oh, Pandora, Pandora, wherefore out there, thou okay. Pandora. <laughs> Quoting some Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Uh-huh. Cookies. Oh. Okay, next we have some cookies. It's like shirking cookies. Shirking cookies? Yeah, shirking. Because they have the whole okay. Oh, I got a broken Cin one. Right. Cinnamon. Yeah, and white chocolate star cookies. Cinnamon cookies. So those might just go to you. <laughs> this Dutch holiday staple is almost too cute to eat. Too cute? Christmas ornaments in the Netherlands aren't just lovely, they're edible. The Dutch decorate their Christmas trees with cookies. The most popular are wreath-shaped ones called... Kerstjing... No, I'm not going to be able to do that. Let me see. Cinnamon wreaths. Where are they? Right there. Stern. Oh. The top one. Oh. The one above that one. Curse. Kerns. Gist. Gist. S-J-E-S. Sure. -E I don't. Yeah, that's going to be a hard. Part? Oh, the Netherlands. I don't know yeah. anybody in the Netherlands. You guys can see if you guys can find out what that word is. We have no idea. Open them up. I want a cookie. Okay. You tried to hide those, didn't you? No, there's so literally like nowhere to put it. I need to grab some. Oh, oh, oh. Office, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're already little work area. My office. There There's nowhere safe to put it since we have the dogs no. in here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, and that's sticky. Like a, oh, that smells delicious. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you gotta stop going back and forth. It's really good. Mm. I remember like those old cookies that we used to eat. Mm -hmm. It tastes like exactly like them. Oh, those are delicious. Alright, save that for later. Mm -hmm. Very soon later. Those are marshmallow dessert. Oh, goodness. It's yummy. Nice night. We got the bowl of cheese. I think that's like a store or a store or something. Crude no tenna de origina. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Crude no ten cookies? Possibly pronounce that wrong? Yeah. The, the Netherlands number one spice cookie bite size. I'm not no, I'm not having the spicy one. Oh, I bet they did. <coughs> I bet these are like a gingerbread or a cinnamon cookie. Probably. <clears throat> and of course everything is. My dad yeah. always, my dad always wants me to try new stuff and guess what? I have tried one, two. Smell. Oh. Mm -hmm. Not good. Oh, yeah. Not too and bad. the bag. It's not a very big bag, but it's pretty full. Yeah. Not very big. I definitely so have more cookies than the a, a minions one. They definitely are bite size. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, put this way. I got this. So we have Marquis of Scotland Haggies and cracked black pepper flavored potato chips. Gently cooked to perfection. 40 G E. They are Mackies of Scotland, haggis and cracked black pepper. <coughs> so again, that's what not too. 
Now, I'm not a huge haggis person. <coughs> it's not bad. It basically tastes like a black pepper potato chip. That's mm. pretty good. And then it's probably really what uh, everybody that's gonna be likes. This is what people like. I don't like chocolate. Well, not all. Apple and dark chocolate Domino Steins. <laughs> Domino? Hmm. These are from Germany. Germany? Hey, if COVID hadn't happened, you'd have been in Germany this year. Yeah, true. Did your dad tell you about? Uh... Yeah. You could have enjoyed those in Germany. Yeah. Meet the holiday yum with it all. Invented in 1936, Germany's now classic Domino Stein has four essential parts. A base of really Lekuchen, the gingerbread locals have been loving since the 13th century. Oh. Two, a layer of tart I jelly. No in this, let me close it. Okay. In this clay case made from real apples. Three, a slathering of persipan, a fluffy confection made of ground apricot kernels, and finally, a coating of luscious dark chocolate. All right, now. So here it is again. I want to try that one. Give my guess. Because you're not going to. Because it's Look chocolate. Look sad. Just turn the other way now. I know, because nobody's paying attention to them. So that's what these look like. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Show them the inside. That is interesting. That is very not bad. <laughs> to somebody that likes chocolate. And I'll eat Reese's. You don't taste the chocolate really. Not too much. So right now now we have the mocktail bon bones. Briscow Bristos Bur uh E S T I believe eighteen seventy nine of Devon. Devon, what is what? Is? Um, established was the EST. Bristos of Devon. Yeah, I yeah. believe. Mocktail bonbons. Celebrate New Year's Eve with the UK's juiciest pub faves. <clears throat> hmm. There's also some more things in here. Cosmopolitan um. gin and rhubarb. Rhubarb. Peach Bellin uh Bellini. Bro Bellini. These are like Prosecco Tequila Sunrise. And tequila. these I guess are all of the flavors you can have. So that's it. That's what it is. Plus it's given up. Plus has given up. She just chilling. Mm -hmm. hmm. So that's what those minute. look like. It's like a marshmallow, but it's not even close. To they're soft. very dense. You, there is weight to them. Yes, there is weight. <coughs> very dense. I've been into that one. It it's like, like um, um, it looks like a little, looks like an ice gummy? cream cone. Uh, oh no, not ice cream, a uh, popsicle. And I bite into, I really, mm. I rarely no. do. It, it's like a starburst. Hmm. That's what it's like when you bite into it. But the flavor is kind of like, I don't know which one I got to be honest, I didn't look. The flavor is really good. Oh, where? 
So this way. Mm -hmm. So that's not this one. So Which it looks one? like on the page. What are you looking for? Where is it? Wait. It's right here. Oh, what? oh there it is. <coughs> fudge. Okay. Ooh, mm. I love fudge. Well, peanut butter fudge. Sea salted, a uh, salted caramel fudge. I <laughs> just so that's oh, mm, that's what it looks like. Well, that's not that's not gonna be chocolate. It's not gonna be chocolate. It's caramel. Oh, and they're even individually wrapped. Oh, I've seen these. I've seen these. Oh, uh, where are smells they? Smells just like caramel. Wait, where are they? Where? Yeah, like where are they made? Oh, these are in um, Britain. Britain? Yeah, these are in Britain. <laughs> I've seen these before. Hmm. I'm not going to taste the caramel because I, those are going to take forever to eat and I'm going to want to eat the whole thing. Okay, so I saw this before. Is there two of these? Right there. Yeah. So it looks like you get two of these in a box. These are from Switzerland. Uh -huh. An Alpine nut cake. Crumbly nutty pie straight from the Swiss Alps. This traditional pie filled with sweet caramelized walnuts and hazelnuts is so addictively delicious. So it's 100% uh, Inness Swiss quality. Bunner Nostor Toy Alpine oh. Nut Cake Da Nada Nadal Nut Oh, so this So, looks like we have a ripped one A little bit here That's fine Is it open? Not uh, kind of I mean, this one, it's just ripped a little. Oh. Well, that's fine. Probably go, is it? <coughs> that might be it. I am not going to open these and taste them because I'm not a huge <coughs> walnut or hazelnut fan what's at all. this? So I'll let my husband eat those. Looks like we got another one. Do we have two of those? Yes. Okay. That's the wrong that's way. That's the best, uh, so, go in the way, another page, please. Oh, right there. Okay. Sugar and anise pulveron. Sp mm. Spain's favorite Christmas cookie. Oh, the cookie! Imagine getting dust for Christmas and being excited about it. Okay. That's exactly this, basically. Cause I keep in it, Spain. So. It's not. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. It's like, it's broken. Kind of. Oh. Over here, it's the most. Oh, well, it's not like it's just gotta be. Yeah. Good Go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna try that. In Spain, that's often the case. Spain's favorite Christmas yeah. cookie, the Polveron, gets, it, gets its name from polvo dust due to its ex, extra crumbly ratio of flour, sugar, and lard. One taste, and Spain's love for this dusty delicacy will make a lot more sense. There we go. Aha! That way we don't lose anything. Okay, open. Oh, so. I'll grab this. So. So this so cookie was broken. Yeah. But that doesn't matter. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. Are you gonna try it? You gonna try it first? Taste this little mm. bites. Not mm. too bad. That was very flaky. Mm hmm. That's quite good, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. kind of like a spicy sugar cookie. And this is the last thing. The French taste chocolate, chocolate, muffins or something. Cocoa dusted chocolate truffles. So these are cocoa powder top. Made with love. I'm not gonna make this up. 
This is a <coughs> chocolate ganache, essentially, I guess. <coughs> I can still, I still have the plates from the cookie. Oh, yes. Okay. Good few of those. So it looks like it's kind of powder. Because it just got on my finger. Mm -hmm. It's got chocolate powder on it. <coughs> and it's just... It's just chocolate. Mm. <laughs> mm. That is very rich. That's very good. You can open that. So this is a yum bag. So it's basically a goodie bag. And I actually opened it up pretty bad. So. Ooh. And here we have. Um, uh, like Hueso de Santo marzipan candy. Apple uh -huh. stolen cake. Not your grandma's fruitcake. This is from Germany. That's, that one. That's the marzipan candy from Spain. And it's Spain. kind of, kind of, it's a squishy a little bit. Kind of squishy. Mm -hmm. I think we have two of everything. It's like a candy. Amaretto cream milk chocolate balls. Sorini. This is um, from Italy. Uh, got two of those as well. So basically, you get two of everything. Mm -hmm. You got one more. Peppermint humbugs. Got four of the. We got four of these. Four of what? The apple? Oh uh, no 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 these. Oh ooh. And I believe four of those. Oh, oh no four. maybe three. Three of these. Oh no yeah four. Awesome. So we have two of the apple stalling cake, four of the amaretto cream milk chocolate balls, and this. four of the peppermint humbugs, two of the marzipan. Not marzipan. They're like breadsticks, bro. All right. Well, that was. My yum box for, let's see, the month of December. I got the holiday box. Yes, the holiday. <clears throat> and it was a holiday around, from around the world. So, yeah. Again, and this was the super yum box. And this is a $36. $36 if you pay for your subscription once a year. So, if you pay annual. Um... I don't have any coupon codes. I believe there was a discount code the last time I looked when I signed up for that. I'll put all of this back. But I'll have the a link in the description below and any other details pertinent to the video I will also have in the description below. You guys, thank you. Have a great day. See ya!